Hello everybody, Justin Monger here with my figure review on Whole Horse. This figure is pretty new. It came out about a week ago. I finally got mine a couple days ago. I've given it some room to breathe on the shelf. Play with it a bit. Find things I like about it, things I dislike about it. Um, I will say this is a Part 3 figure. They haven't really revisited Part 3 figures since Awakened Dio, which was quite a while ago. So I was a bit skeptical about how they were going to approach Part 3 figs when um, they've come so far from these ugly, bastardized, uh, weirdly proportioned monstrosities that are known as the Part 3 figs. And uh, this figure captures everything I like about the Part 3 figs and does away with everything I dislike about them. Um, it has great colors, great articulation, great proportions. Uh, great paint, I think I already said that. Uh, really good accessories. It has a pretty plentiful amount. I like them. Uh, pretty wide range of heads. Uh, I like the alt heads. They're very different. They don't look uh, like the stereotypical slightly angry head that looks like it's yawning. Um, starting off, though, uh, we'll get into the box. Because I actually have it. Uh, it has that new pattern on it, which looks pretty cool. Um... It's whole horse, nothing crazy. Some pretty cool poses. Uh, as you can see, there's some stuff. It doesn't include the two cigarettes that you get, which are extremely tiny. Um, but you get two of them in a little plastic bag. Um, starting off, actual whole horse is that you get his stand. Um, not the emperor, but uh, a stand to hold him up. Mine was pretty loose, so you're probably going to have to tighten yours. Um, looking at him, uh, he's pretty cool looking. Uh, he has that, uh, can go that far back with the torso. Pretty flexible. Uh, has a really interesting, uh, head, or neck, how he can look down so far. They did really good with the, um, the up and down, which they usually don't sometimes. Um, his head is on a ball joint. Uh, I personally like the pegs more, just because they're easier to take one and off. But, uh, he does... He's not too difficult to take one and off. He's pretty good. Uh, they have these little elbow, uh, shoulder pads, I guess. Uh, sometimes they're loose on some figures. Sometimes they're really tight. Uh, these ones seem to be pretty good. Because you can kind of pull them and put them out of place. And if you put them in place, they'll stay there. Uh, which is pretty useful. His front loincloth moves up and down. It's on a hinge, which is cool. Uh, the back one just kind of comes off. It just has those two little peg holes, which is cool. I don't mind it. In case you actually want to sit him down in a chair, you can remove him, so that way you can have more sitting room. Uh, legs are on uh, these pivots. And do a pretty good split, actually. I didn't think he'd be able to do so good. Um, Drop the cigarette. Um, he's got pretty good knee uh, bending. Uh, ankle's really good. I like how they did the ankle. Got that toe hinge, which is kind of tight, to be honest. Uh, I heard that lots of people are getting in trouble with the knees. They're just really weak. They're really loose. Uh, I personally don't have any problems with uh, that stuff. His arms can do pretty good. He's got a hinge up on top. Uh, his hands are a little bit hard to change. They are on pegs. Um, looking at him, his face. If it would zoom in. Uh, it's pretty good. I personally didn't think they are going to do so well on the face. I thought it was going to look kind of lackluster. But uh, they did really good on this. And his cigarette is extremely tiny. And that just kind of plugs into the corner of his mouth. Like so. It comes with two in case you lose one. I put my, the other one with Lisa Lisa. And looking at the parts he comes with, he comes with a pretty good amount of parts. Uh, more stuff than I thought he actually would, which is pretty good. So 
So this is all the parts he comes with. Uh, so starting off, he has the two fist hands. Uh, he also has his emperor um, phasing through his hand. Uh, I really like this one. It looks pretty good. There's a couple spots where it looks a little bit weird. Just because uh, how it's how medical does stuff. Uh, but it looks really cool. I like it. Uh, he also comes with uh, the Emperor for him to hold regularly. Uh, I like the colors of that black, silver, and purple on it. Uh, it looks really cool. I like how they put the hammer on there with like, a little grip on it too. So he's got his open fist hand, or um, his fist hands of course. Every figure does. He's got uh, it's kind of open palm hands, I guess. Uh, this one, they're kind of slightly different, which I think is cool. This one has kind of a weirder motion to it, I guess. It's got kind of like a cupped hand, I guess, to hold his uh, hand when he's shooting, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like how they included that with Mista and here as well. Uh, I don't really know what this is. I think this is from like the whole horse uh, thing with him with the clock tower and um, one of the Oingo Boingo bros where he sticks his finger up uh, pulling the ref's nose. Uh, he's also got a hand for uh, holding uh, the Emperor. Uh, I don't like how they never give them a finger that doesn't have trigger discipline, uh, which is weird to me. Well, not weird, but I feel like they would. Uh, for heads, he has uh, kind of like a surprise scared head, I guess. Uh, I don't think any of these can really hold the cigarette, unfortunately. He's also got this uh, yelling head, which looks really good. Usually they don't ever really make the heads look that different. Usually they're yawning. Uh, for example, Lisa Lisa over here. Uh, here's her regular head. Here's her uh, yelling head. She just looks like she's yawning. It doesn't look that good. Uh, but Whole Horse actually has a pretty wide range of uh, parts and all that, which is really good. Um, also, for his effect pieces, he has this really cool looking thing. These plug at the end of the Emperor. Um, they look really good. There's also uh, a multi-shot. Which uh, you cannot remove like you can Mista, how you can remove the um, segments. Uh, mine came kind of broken, which is unfortunate, as you can see there. Uh, it's slightly cracked, so I don't want to mess with it really. Uh, but yeah, whole horse is really good. I like how they did this figure. I don't like how I just dropped the cigarette. Yeah, so this figure is really good. Uh, I definitely rate this a 5 out of 5. Um, I don't think I could have thought of anything else better. Um, I think they did this figure really good. If I could say anything, I wish that they would add it. Probably, like, uh, Thoth, the book from one of the Oingo Boingo Bros. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, I don't care if they didn't add it. I think this figure's really good without all that stuff. Um, they did everything I wanted them to do with this figure, plus a couple more things. I like the heads. Uh, the body itself looks really good. It's a really good part three figure. Um, you don't really get many uh, part three figures in this day and age. So I'm happy that they um, revisited this character, which I actually really do like. And gave him um, a lot of really good stuff. I don't really like a lot of the part three figures. They look kind of weird to me. They're not really my favorite uh, characters in figure form. But I think Whole Horse is probably like in my top ten now. Uh, just because of how good they made him compared to the others. Uh, so he's definitely, uh, I really suggest picking him up if you have uh, room in your collection for Whole Horse. Uh, 